Good afternoon, folks. You're all very welcome. Um, thanks for taking the time to join us today. My name is Brian O'Donoghue, and I'm going to talk to you this afternoon about Kenya credentials, the Mila Fawaita Rove, and your Mila Mahagi Asach on Mahogal Mas Law, the Chahalin, Tamagal Korshiasi, and the Erdinger Kenya. And um, we should be, uh, this should take about half an hour. I want to run through some um slides about about uh what kenya credentials are um the process for applying for them and, and the value of them and uh, uh uh take questions then at the end and just to remind you that we are recording this and uh, this will be available uh, on the kenya website so i'm just going to um move forward with uh, Kenya credentials. These are um, stackable European digital credentials for learning that we award to educators when they participate in training that uh, Kenya provides in continuing professional development and when they apply those skills in their learning setting, be that in a school or in a, um, in a youth organization and then they document that rollout uh, so as to give us evidence of, of skills activation. We also have uh, nanocreds, Kenya nanocreds, which the Kenya educators, once they uh, have a credential, they're then able to award these to the young people who participate in the learning opportunities that the educators provide. So these are stackable awards achieved by young people when they develop uh, subject knowledge and 21st century skills by engaging in learning opportunities delivered by Kenya certified educators. So this, uh, these 21st century skills, uh, in addition to the subject matter content of uh, whatever that module may be, say uh, podcasting or robotics or circuits, they also develop uh, skills of creativity, uh, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, uh, problem solving, and digital literacy. And we recognize th that skill development and uh, do so through our nano creds. So the pathway for, for uh, credentials for educators um, the, to participate in Kenya training, then they activate that, those skills in the learning setting. Uh, and they uh, submit a, 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 an application to us for, uh, for a credential uh, by providing uh, evidence of that activation. And then uh, we uh, review that, we assess that evidence of, of skills activation and uh, then issue the credential through the Europass platform. Then for uh, nanocreds, for young people, um, the Educators uh, teach the skills that we have taught them through, uh, through our training. Um, the educators then confirm that the young people have, have uh, developed those skills and, and they send us the information of the young people uh, um, involved. And then uh, based on the educator's assessment of those skills development, we then issue the nanocreds again through the Europass platform. So, the value of Kenya credentials is, is because we, we help educators and young people get recognition for the learning, uh, for their learning by providing a free, secure and valuable award system. So that's what our, uh, our credentials are. What they feature is they are, uh, they're very flexible and they're multilingual and it, it is provided through an e-portfolio. Um, when I say multilingual, both in English and in Irish, we issue our credentials bilingually, but also the um, e-portfolio uh, stored in Europath, Europass is, uh, has 28 different languages in it, all of the European languages. It gives an opportunity to store a variety of different uh, kinds of content, not only credentials, but also not only the credentials that we issue, but also um, credentials that uh, you may have been awarded by uh, any other institution or certificates of participation or any other evidence of, uh, of learning um, that can be uh, uh, stored on the Europass platform. 
In our credentials, there is a wealth of metadata, which I'll uh, give you an example of a little bit later on, which describes the learning outcomes and the activities that were involved in the, um, uh, in the, uh, during the module. The Europass provides an opportunity to, to organize one's credentials, uh, one's qualifications and, uh, and learning experiences in one place. And this covers both uh, formal uh, learning, non-formal learning and, and informal learning as well. There is zero cost. There's no cost to, uh, to the Europass platform on which our credentials are, are stored. Uh, and there are no commercial uh, interests because this is provided by the European Commission. It is secure and one's credentials are, are tamper proof. Uh, it's, uh, it provides an opportunity for people to connect uh, by sharing their skills because, as I said, the uh, credentials and the information that you store on Europass is shareable and portable. Uh, and you can, uh, you can send that to, to, uh, to peers, to employers, uh, and it, it, is, uh, it, it is secure in that way. So the experience of uh, that the credentials provide is this is a unique re reward uh, that only Kenya currently only Kenya uh, uh, provides in Ireland. We are the first in Ireland to use the Europass platform with which to issue uh, European digital credentials for learning. And these credentials, they provide a, a positive reinforcement and, and incentives to participate in uh, in learning at the moment and, and future learning opportunities. It provides an acknowledgement for the achievement and for the skills development that, um, that has happened. And this applies both for educators as well as the young people. It provides reliable information in the metadata. Like I said, the credentials have a wealth of information stored behind the certificate itself. And uh, it describes what the learning outcomes were and, and the activities. And the credentials are not just a certificate of attendance. These are uh, awarded based on proven capacity building. So like I said, the educators not only roll out the skills or activate the skills in their teaching and learning environment, but they also need to document that and provide evidence of those skills activation so that we can see that uh, um, the, the educators have, have a, um, developed their own skills uh, to the extent where they can then pa pass that on to young people. And then likewise, when the young people participate in those learning opportunities and they, they demonstrate uh, to their educator that they have developed new skills. These are recognized European digital credentials for learning. So even though they're not currently um, credit bearing, um, they are a recognized uh, form of, um, of credential or, or digital badge. And, and this is the way that um, awards and credentials will be awarded in the future. It's currently just starting to, uh, to be rolled out in Ireland, but in other European countries, this is, uh, this is the norm and uh, is very much um, it is used in, in higher education. The design of the, the certificate itself is appealing, so you can store it in your Europass uh, profile, or likewise, you can print it out, and young people can print it out and, uh, and uh, frame it, put it on the wall, um, so to, uh, um, to be proud of, of the, uh, the skills development that have happened. And as I said, it, it uh, is a demonstration to peers and to employers of the, uh, the skills that have, been, that have been developed through our training programs. The credentials um, meet the needs of, of our educators by providing them with an e-portfolio in which to document their continuing professional development. So, both primary and uh, secondary teachers uh, are required to uh, participate in the, the COSON um, process where they reflect on their practice. And this is an excellent opportunity and an excellent platform in which to gather that information together and, uh, and, uh, and share it. It also provides um, professional development tools and uh, 
in terms of uh, documenting one's skills, one, um, one's general skills, digital skills, language skills. Um, uh, furthermore, uh, the uh, Europe Pass platform provides uh, opportunities for further training and employment that are that are supplied by uh, other training providers. While the jobs feature in Europass is still is still currently being rolled out, it is uh, and and will be in the future uh, a portal on which to to seek further employment. And there are, um, as I said, there's the the skills uh, the skills professional skills builder where you can compile uh, the list of skills that you have and uh, linguistic skills. Also, there's a, a self assessment tool in the platform for um, documenting the uh, various skills that you have, uh, uh, linguistic skills. And then finally, there are uh, there's a test for testing your digital skills. And again, the uh, evidence of that uh, is stored on your Europass platform. So in addition to uh, meeting the needs of uh, our educators and, and participants, uh, there also um, provides uh, additional uh, uh, additional opportunities in terms of providing a sense of personal accomplishment by being rewarded um, for uh, for capacity building it it reminds one of 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 the accomplishment that one has achieved it's recognition for uh, for one's capacity building and it also provides motivation uh, towards uh, attaining one's um, professional development goals or likewise for the young people in uh, moving towards a particular uh, area of interest uh, and um, provides incentive uh, and reward for them for educators, it's a good investment in 21st century skills, both their own skills and those of young people, because it is very much skills based and uh, there are uh, opportunities in which to to demonstrate those skills uh, and to enhance those skills. It is um, a platform that will be rolled out more, more so in Ireland. Uh, and as I said, is uh, currently in use quite a bit uh, in Europe. In, in fact, in, in Portugal, there are certain government departments that will only accept application for government jobs through the Europass platform. Uh, they won't accept CVs or cover letters anymore. Uh, they require that you share your Europass uh, uh, profile in which you have all of the information about yourself and where you can share your own uh, your skills and, and credentials with them. And it offers the opportunity to belong to a group of people that, that have these skills, uh, that have trained with Kenya and uh, that are um, uh, interested in developing their own skills uh, further. The impact that, uh, that our credentials uh, and the Europass platform can have is it, um, we are contributing to the uh, general skills development. So uh, our, we are committed to uh, upskilling educators so that they can then pass those skills on to young people. It promotes one's uh, continuing professional development and one's both formal and, uh, and informal learning. It promotes um, uh, learning and development uh, in, in the wider context and contributes to addressing the digital divide by uh, promoting uh, digital skills. It also promotes Irish in a technical capacity. As I said, uh, all of our credentials are issued bilingually and the platform itself is available in multiple languages. So you simply select uh, which language you want to use and uh, from there on in, uh, you continue in that language. And there are um, questions about uh about the uh, the platform itself and you know is this time consuming or uh how long will it take or what's what's involved in setting up one's uh, profile so yes there's a small amount of time in setting one, uh, setting up a, a profile on on europass but it really is quite simple in terms of just inputting one's uh one's um uh, personal information and um when you do have a profile the um, credentials are issued directly into your uh, into your Europass wallet, and it's uh, um, it's a very easy way. Then, when we issue the credentials to you, it pops up in your uh, in your 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 profile. 
after you set up the initial profile you can you can add to it as you wish and you can enhance it uh, uh, at your own time uh, and at your own pace there's uh, you can add as much or as little detail as you want and uh, i'll give you an example uh, a little bit further on of uh, what a profile uh, can look like um, you can uh, as i say once you enter your own information you can develop um, a whole range of, of uh, professional development uh, tools is it complex? Uh, not really. It's uh, no more difficult uh, than setting up a, a LinkedIn profile. Uh, it's a case of, of entering data. And when you have the profile, then you share that uh, profile with, with other people, um, as I say, with peers or uh, our uh, current or future employers. There are also a lot of uh, tutorials and videos uh, within the platform uh, to guide you through uh, setting up uh, your, 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 your own profile. Um, to creating uh, a CV if you want to, creating uh, cover letters uh, and putting together applications for jobs. So in this way, uh, even if our educators are not uh, um, interested in moving on to a different uh, position for, uh, for young people, it's a great way of getting them uh, into the mindset of thinking about their own skills development and, and how they can document their learning and how they can put that in the context of employability and where they would like to uh, uh, move forward uh, uh, in the future if they will want to continue into education or or continue into the workplace it has uh, gr a great um, capacity to uh, to assist one in thinking about one's own uh, um, career development and not only uh, Kenya credentials are stored there but as I said um, other uh, other documents um, such as uh, uh, scans of, of uh, uh, um, previous degrees or diplomas or uh, certificates of participation. So um, when one creates a profile, you can you can share that profile with other people. There's a, a, a share for, uh, um, facility within it and it generates a, um, a hyperlink and you can share that hyperlink with other people. You can also, and uh, I'm just going to pop to another tab, and uh, this is what you would uh, what it would come through as. Uh, you'll notice up on the top right top right hand side, I gave a um, a date um, to which this uh, this profile is is visible. So if I just want it to be visible for a short length of time, like until tomorrow, um, this is what uh, uh, I can set that. And here is um, the output of uh, of my own uh, uh, profile. Uh, I have my uh, um, uh, a summary of uh, of my experience, uh, my current work, and uh, training that I've had in the past. I can put in as much detail about about my qualifications as I wish. Uh, because it's a European uh, initiative, it gives you all of the opportunities to describe. Uh, both at the European Qualification Framework level and also at uh, the uh, National Qualification Framework level. And uh, it's both, uh, it can take both uh, formal qualifications and informal qualifications. The Institute of Project Management is a non-credit bearing institute, but still provides uh, a credential. As I said, you can, you can do a self-assessment of, of your language skills, and I, I put that in also my digital skills and other awards that I've received, um, your driver's license if you want, and publications. Uh, uh, there's a whole uh, range of, uh, of different, uh, um, different features that you can uh, input into it. And then just to move into, uh, into what, what it actually looks like uh, on the inside. Uh, so I'm gonna move to um, my profile within the Europass platform. And as it's loading here, as I say, it gives uh, um, a whole range of um, of data that I can and I can select which of this uh, can be uh, can be shared with other people. I mentioned that there's also a jobs platform. So based on your uh, on your uh, your experience and the uh, and the credentials that you have in there, it can offer you uh, or offers uh, you suggestions in terms of um, uh, jobs that are available. It also um, 
if you set it up correctly, it can give you the uh, also suggestions to to further uh, further education. When credentials are are issued, they go into your library, and uh, this is what this is what the library would look like. You can upload uh, your CVs if you wish. Um, either ones that you present yourself or, or others that you create within Europass. You can upload uh, cover letters or else uh, build those cover letters within, within the platform. And then uh, the credentials that, that we would issue uh, would pop straight in here into, your, uh, into your, your, your wallet. So if I was to open this up, this is just a sample of a, uh, of a, a nano cred. And this is what it comes up with. I have one open in this tab. So it's, I'll share this tab and says, this is one that's already loaded. Uh, it has the information about me and about the, uh, the organization that delivers, uh, that has delivered the training. Uh, as I said, this is just a sample uh, credential. Uh, within that, then it has, it has the learning outcomes, the activities and how it was assessed. And, Um, sorry, now I'm just going to go back to that. So as I said, back to uh, back to my library where where I have uh, stored um, various documents, the certificates and diplomas that were uh, issued to me, and also other uploads uh, from from various other uh, um, uh, learning opportunities that I participated in, uh, and uh, this is the uh, result of the uh, um, a digital skills uh, assessment that I did at the beginning. Um, furthermore, you can uh, do a self-assessment of one's own skills, and be they um, professional skills uh, and or uh, digital skills. As I say, it'll give you uh, the opportunity to test your own skills. Uh, and finally, uh, you can your own uh, personal interests. And if you want to apply for uh, for jobs, you can you can generate uh, applications within uh, within the Europass platform. Um, should have mentioned earlier on the uh, the to apply for for Kenya credentials. Just go to our website. The address is uh, kenya.ie forward slash credentials, and uh, that will bring you to a link to either apply for credentials or nano creds, either in English or in Irish. <laughs>